it's Manda, and I'm coming to you with day 17 of 30 Inks 30 Days. Here's our, we pretty much saw the final version of all of this yesterday. Here's the completely dry um, chromatography. We have the completely dry swatch card. Here's our uh, splats. Again, there is a little bit of like reddish pink sheen on this halo edge where there was a lot of ink down, but that's pretty much the only sheen I've seen. Also a little on the Tomoe River paper where some of the ink pooled, but only around the edges. So mostly haloing, but yeah. Um, like I said, this was a pretty dry ink and I didn't, it wasn't my favorite to write with. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to like sugarcoat it. Um, it definitely wasn't my favorite to write with, but um, it's a gorgeous color. I just think that other brands have maybe a similar color that is not as dry and um, is a much nicer writing experience for me. Although I did enjoy writing with it on the Tomoe River paper. When I wrote with it on Tomoe River paper, it was fine, but all the other papers that I use like during the day or whatever just weren't, they weren't my favorite. Um, so I'm filming this kind of late in the day um, and I've got some weird, that weird lighting situation. Let me see if I can maybe brighten it up a little bit. Does that work? Oh, that kind of works. That works a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah. So we'll move on to today. I've got a paintbrush in case I need to do a swatch. My automatic pen, syringe, i got all the, all the things that I need. And um, yeah, everything I need except an ink. I've got a few pens to choose from. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna pick whatever this is. I'm trying to see if it's in the frame. It looks like it's in the frame. I can't see what it is, but um, yeah. Let's take a look and see what we've got. We have Monteverde Jungle Elephant. Exciting, okay, cool. Hmm. I have a couple different pens here. I think I'm gonna choose, cause this is supposed to be kind of a purple. I think I'm gonna go with my uh, Leonardo, um, uh, which pen is this? The Memento Zero, I think? I don't remember which Leonardo pen I have. I only have the one. Is it the Memento? I think it's the Memento. I don't, I, I honestly don't remember. But I think this is supposed to be a purple. This is the purpliest pen I have sitting here. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna fill our pen and do all of that. Um, I haven't used this pen in a long time, so it'll be nice to, ooh, this is very dark. I do have to make a swatch of this. Maybe I wanna, um, maybe I'm gonna save this. Maybe we'll do, have my, I have a Sailor um, 1911. This is the Fresca, it has a zoom nib. I wonder, this ink seems like, Maybe I'll do that instead. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. Like, now that I see how dark this is, I kinda wanna see what it looks like with the zoom nib. See if we get any like cool shading or anything. I have been intrigued by a different pen. Um, um, this was from, they have like a set, a set of 10 you know, like Monteverde does. It was like a jungle set. And I got a couple of the inks. I actually really wanted the whole set, but then I didn't buy it and then it was all sold out. But Venice had samples of this pen. So we'll go ahead and do all that. Okay, let's, let's do our calendar. will make it really nice to color in these squares here. This zoom nib. I'm gonna do this. Let's make sure the inside square is nice and neat. So we have Monteverde. Elephant. And we'll color it in. Which will take approximately one second to do because of this giant thick ass zoom nib. Okay. 
Ponte Verde inks are really usually nice and um, nice and wet, nice and juicy to write with, because they have that like ITF lubrication sort of thing. It's a really nice dark purple, like grayish purple. So this is from um, Van Ness Pens. Elephant. very dark saturated ink. My camera angle is not so great. I might turn the I might turn the um I might turn the light on so we can see it a little better. But a very dark, saturated purple. Deep, dark, saturated purple. It's lovely. Lovely. Okay, I do have the thing here to do chromatography. So I know where I put my... I, like, lose these strips every single time. I don't know how. I don't know how it's possible to lose them every single time when I just like put them in the same spot. I'm gonna have to cut some more strips soon. Sorry about the lighting here guys. Let me let me turn the big light on, see if that helps. I know if I wasn't sitting here that would help, but Let me get the yellow and the shadows, which I really can't stand, but if you can't see the ink, what's the point? Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I did touch the, the, I did dunk it a little too, too much, but... Looks like we've got some purple and some pink and some black, maybe? It's very... This is going to be interesting. Okay, we'll let it sit and think about what it's done. Which is honestly be a stunning piece of beautiful ink. Blot this up so I don't have messes everywhere else later. Seventeen ink. Pen. This is a standard Fresca with a zoom. Zoom in. A 
feel like we could do better. Okay, never mind. I'll just cover this whole thing in ink. That's fine. There. It's really, really dark. It's really, really nice dark purple. Like grayish purple. We do get some good shading for being so dark. Mm. Yes. Here's our Tony River swatch. It's just a really, really, really dark purple. A really dark grayish purple. I don't know why purple is elephant. I would think of like gray instead of purple, but I don't know. This is a really nice dark saturated purple. Almost looks black. It definitely looks black on camera while it's wet, but it is a it is a very dark purple. Not quite ink of witch, but a possible like dupe contender maybe. Not really. Um, There we go. A really, really, really dark saturated purple. I can't tell if we're gonna have any sort of sheen or anything on here. You can see shading, we definitely get some shading. Like the top of the S, the A, the I, and Sailor, the L is darker. These are all kind of darker. The beauty of the zoom nib is you can almost write with anything from like a fine to a broad or an, I don't know, maybe extra fine to double broad. Basically, it's like every nib size in a in a pen. And you can also like flip it over and reverse write. And it's really smooth. Here's a, with the overhead light, that shimmer ink looks freaking stunning. This makes it look orange again. But, ooh, I'm not shimmering that too. Shimmering that. The overhead lighting makes the shimmer inks look pretty. So yeah, here we go. Sorry for the terrible, it's not even evening, it's like four o'clock. Now this is interesting, this swatch where we've laid down a ton of ink, it's, you definitely see the darker purple, but this just looks black. The text looks purple, but this swatch card, if I didn't see this purple here or down here, I would assume that it's black. We did get a little bleed through. It's trying to do it, but I laid the ink down a whole lot here. We splatted down a ton of ink here. And it's only in the, well, a little bit here where the zoom was, but there we go. All right, here's today's ink. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I guess I was wrong about this being the pop of color. This might still be the pop of color. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, day 17 is in the books. I will see you again tomorrow with day 18 of 30 inks, 30 days. Um, let me know what you're using below. What pen, what ink? Do you have a favorite combo? That you're just in love with if you're not participating in 30 inks just let me know uh, yeah and here we go monteverde 
jungle elephant. This beautiful, beautiful, dark, 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 dark purple. It looks like we're getting, okay, so this swatch isn't completely dry, but it looks like it does have like black sheen. I'm not even going to say sheen, but definitely some black haloing in areas like where the ink is pulled and stuff. Like it's drying down. Oh, this is going to be, I don't think you can see that, but it's going to be really interesting to look at in better light tomorrow. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Love you, bye.